Hi, I'm Severio from Hornet Plugins, and today I'm here to show you our latest plugin, the LU Meter MK2. This plugin is designed to uh, measure the level of your sound using the LUFS uh, kind of measurement. Uh, this kind of way to analyze loudness takes into account the different uh, perceiving of different frequencies uh, by the human ear. So, uh, for instance, uh, uh, we don't perceive uh, uh, bass and highs as we perceive uh, um, medium frequencies. So, this uh, kind of measurement has uh, a weighting uh, on it so that we can uh, have a better representation of the overall loudness of the signal. Uh, this is very useful in modern mixing because using this plugin you can uh, place the sounds in the right ballpark for their perceived loudness. So uh, you can almost uh, uh, auto-mix uh, uh, your song. And uh, without further talking, I will show you the guy of the plugin so uh, that uh, you can have an idea of how it works. So uh, I have here our LU meter and key 2. I've put it on this bass track because I have this session of song I'm, wanted to use, I'm going to use to uh, show you how the plugin works. So we have our internal gain here. Then we have the reference uh, that we want to, to aim for the auto function. The maximum uh, level that we want the track to reach is by default and at negative 6 dB. Uh, it's a safety measure. Then we have our target uh, value. Then we have the mode that uh, we are going to use. Between, we can choose between three different modes, the momentary, the short, and the integrated. The difference is that momentary takes into account just the, the latest uh, 400 milliseconds of audio, while the short uses uh, a window of three seconds, and the integrated listens to the overall uh, level from the beginning uh, to the end of the track. Then we have this other switch that uh, uh, sets the plugin in uh, EBU mode compliant. That means that if you have uh, two different channels left and right, they are summed together and uh, displayed at one, just one bar and uh, considered as a unique sound. That's what the standard dictates. But if you want, you can disable that and you'll see that now you have two different uh, uh, bars and the auto operation are uh, is executed if they like if they were two different uh, sounds completely. So we are going to use the EBU mode uh, for this demonstration because uh, it gives uh, the more accurate results. Then we have our auto button that uh, allows us to uh, automatically set the gain so that the target is reached given this defined reference. That means that for zero LU, it means that uh, we are at uh, negative 18 LU FS momentary. Uh, this is a little bit tricky to explain, but uh, I'll show you how it works and it will be clear as, uh, as, it sh as, you see it, as you see it works. Then we have these other boxes down here that are used to um, name the plugin. Uh, you usually want to name it after the sound it's elaborating. In this case, is bass. Then you have the group drop down. You can have up to eight different group. And uh, when you put a plugin in a group, all the action you do on these buttons here that have the green light turn on are copied on the, all the other plugins in the same group. So if you press auto right now, and uh, this, for instance, I set this on the bus group, every other plugin set on the bus group, we will have the auto button turned on. This is very convenient if you want to analyze uh, a bunch of tracks all together in the same moment. Then we have this other drop down here that is used to display the level of another track. Now, by default, it's set to self, so it displays uh, the level of the track we are in. 
But if, for instance, I would like to see the level of the kick drum, just selecting this uh, kick here, will show the level of the kick drum instead of the bass. Uh, the color follows uh, the, the, the track selected. So if I select guitars that have a different color I, that I choose from this button here, I see the bars becoming of the color of the, of the track I'm displaying. So for the bass guitar, I would like to have a yellow color. And so pressing this button, I can choose the color I want. So I also can load and save presets. So if I have a preset defined for my bass drum, for example, I can, uh, I can save that preset. And every time I have to uh, work on a kick drum, I have I have my preset ready, so I can load it, and uh, the level and the maximum and everything is already set. So now I'm gonna uh, show you how this plugin works, let, letting you hear the bass guitar on this song, and it plays like this. So it's a little bit loud because it goes above the zero U limit we set. So what we're going to do is to enable the automatic gain and let the track run once so that we can uh, let the plugin adjust itself. So for this demonstration, it's enough a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little chunk of the song. And as you have seen, when I press stop, the auto button turned off by itself. This is to avoid that leaving that button on would ruin the game staging set to a session uh, after you load it back. So uh, you are sure that after you press off, all the auto buttons are off so you don't have to worry about uh, messing with your gains. Now, what I did to demonstrate the function of this, the utility of this plugin is to uh, take our Track Shaper, it's uh, another plugin we designed uh, meant to be used as a general tone shaping plugin, and I have used one on every track uh, of, the, of the drums, on the bass and the guitar, and uh, I have uh, given a general shape to the to the to the song. Now, what I want to do is to use the LU meter to uh, give uh, the track a mixed feeling. What I mean that uh, using uh, the auto gain, uh, I can uh, let the plugin listen to the relative level of the tracks and let them uh, adjust the level so they are almost mixed. Uh, I will, for this reason, I will take, uh, I have this bass group here. Now I take one plugin from the drums group here and the other one from the guitars here. So I have one plugin for each from each of the groups. And then I, you can see that I have set everything to negative 23 dB of reference. And this is a, a level I like because it gives you almost the right headroom on the master bus. Then I can turn auto on every one of the plugins. So uh, every plugin in the group, if I, for example, if I take another plugin from the drums group, you see that auto button is turned on, and if I turn it off, it's go, the other plugins in the same group follows. And uh, I could uh, then run the track so that the levels are automatically set. But for an even more convenience, every button here that has a, a light can, with a, a right click, be sent to all. 
So now, if I press the auto button, every other plugin, every other LU meter gets the auto turn on. This is very useful if you have a busy ses section, se session and you want to turn all the, all the auto buttons on at once. So now everything is turned on, turned auto. I can let the track play and let uh, the plugin determine the right gains for each of the tracks. So I think that's enough for right now and uh, we can have a listen to how the track sounds balanced between each other right now. Now, the drums are louder than the rest, but as you can see, I have grouped all the drums in a single bus. This bus is not at the right level because it's in a group by itself. So, if you look, you see that it's definitely too high in level. So, what I'm going to do is set the auto button on and let this group, this uh, bus, be set at the right level. So now, everything should be balanced. Much better, definitely much better. Now, I have another LU meter on my master bus. And this time I want to take everything to the final master reference of uh, negative 16 at UFS, that is the, the standard for the streaming services. I'm going to reset the level to zero here, then set auto on the master and let it determine the right game. So, have you heard that everything sounds more polished and more balanced and uh, uh, just in the right spot by itself? I have just used the integrated mode uh, in the master LU meter because I want the overall track to be at negative 16 LU at first level. So, uh, that's why I've chosen the integrated mode. So, with this plugin, you can uh, measure the level of uh, your tracks 
and set them to the right, uh, at the right level as the first plugin in the chain if you want to use it to gain stage your project or use it as a final plugin in your chain to uh, almost set the right level for each track so that it's almost automatically uh, mixed. Uh, and then you can use it on your master bus to make sure that your tracks are at the right level for every streaming service out there and uh, for the general audience. So, uh, Hornet LU Meter MK2 is available right now on www.hornetplugins.com. You can go on our website and download the plugin. And if you don't like it, we offer you a 15, per 15 days, 100% money back guarantee. So just try out the plugin. And if you have any suggestions, just let us know. Thank you very much for watching this video.